Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A lot of you are curious of what's going on in these food distribution centers going on in different areas of our state, in our Islamic centers. I'm going to show you just a little for you that are staying at home, that you're supposed to, uh, keeping social distance, so you can have get a vibe of what's going on in these food distribution events. This one is taking place in the Islamic Center of South Florida, or known by most as the Pompano, Pompano Masjid, and it's coordinated by the South Florida Muslim. Uh, federation the that's an umbrella organization that encompasses over 30 islamic centers and organizations and schools of south florida and they brought together all the parties and all the charities and all the relief organizations working together uh, to help our community the broader community where we live at uh, we see representative from igna relief representative from uh, Islamic Relief, representatives from Friends of Humanity, and representatives from multiple Islamic centers of all Muslim denominations working hand in hand, serving the general community. This was uh, scheduled to start at 11, and due to the dire need and the long lines of over a hun hundreds of uh, uh, cars, they started earlier. It's still going on. And I'm gonna, as I walk around, more or less describe, this is the point when I'm gonna switch the phone, where uh, this is the point where the distribution is technically taking place. Okay, hold, bear with me, inshallah. As you can see, this is the, the, the precise spot where we were the people seeking our help. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, thank you for being here. Alhamdulillah. So this is how we start. They try to do it opening three trunks at the time, serving three people at the same time. So that's the logistic. Assalamu alaikum. Though you see is faith in action. See? Neighbors from all sorts, all ethnicities, every surrounding town coming here. There are literally hundreds, hundreds of cars in line. They have been in line since very early in the morning just to get food. Alhamdulillah, we were able. The South Florida Muslim community, coordinated by the South Flo Muslim, the South Florida Muslim Federation. Right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Interviews going on in the media. Thank you for coming. Some of the bro leaders of the community. But Yunus, we're live in Facebook Live with Care Florida. What's going on here? Assalamu alaikum, alhamdulillah. All these volunteers and all the community, alhamdulillah. 
Alhamdulillah, they've been coming since early this morning. We had to open even 45 minutes earlier because 200 plus cars were already lined up. And, and it's been a great uh, opportunity for the Muslim community to service their neighbors. We've been providing food baskets, waste masks, and, and you know, supplies of other items, uh, produce items as well. And, and, and this is the least we can do for our community. So what are what are we giving the families? A food box, and I see some envelopes. What's what are those? The envelope contains something that's a special supply. The envelope has two face masks. We are giving two face masks to every car that's coming in. We are also giving face masks uh, via online registration. Anybody who registers online, we have been mailing two face masks to every uh, person who registers online as well. So uh, the, the face mask was a a great uh, gift to us, somebody donated to us, we purchased some as well. And then since then we have been giving out lots of face masks uh, to the whole community. And, and what organizations are involved here in handing, uh, organizing this and executing this? Right, there is uh, several organizations including uh, Islamic Relief, Ikna Relief, Friends of Humanity, and we have uh, uh, food, uh, uh, IFSF Food Pantry, and then we have volunteer organizations of YCSF, we have uh, MSA, and several other volunteer um, organizations, they are helping us, they help us put this event together. Thank you, Brother Yunus. Th Brother Yunus, how many people do you think we will be serving today? Right, right now, we have the count, last night we did, we have already serviced 300 cars. And we just, somebody just reported to us, there is about 180 cars in the, in the, on the street. Well. We have about 60 some our cars in the parking lot. So we will continue to service them. We have been a plenty of food. At some point, obviously, we will, you know, we run out of food, but we are hoping that we can service most of the cars that are already in line. And, 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 and the least we will do is anybody that we cannot service, we get the phone number, and then we will provide them some food uh, at a later date. MashaAllah, Jasakal of Khaira, brother. May Allah reward you, brother. Thank you. What are we doing here today, and how is the class? started and we, our expectation was 500 people, we are expecting to uh, Our other partners is here. So far over 400 people have been served. We have over 400 people still lined up outside. So we are expecting over 1,000 people will be serving. Uh, that's uh, how we have what we have to give out. We are giving out food supplies, hygiene kits and masks. For people, those who are uh, affected by infection, we are giving them masks for them to feel comfortable and people take care of them. Assalamu alaikum wali. Tell me what's going on your life in a Facebook live from Care Florida. So as you can see, we're doing some drive-through distributions. Islamic of USA, Ikna Relief, Islamic Center of South Florida. Obviously, you gotta have care in the building, right? Alhamdulillah. So we're distributing food packages, uh, face masks, and we're giving back to our local community. Mashallah. How many people are we expecting to serve, more or less? How many families? Well, we've packed uh, over 500 boxes, uh -huh. and I don't know, I think about 20 minutes ago, they told us there was about 220 left. Oh, Mashallah. So, that was a while ago. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be running out today. Alhamdulillah, that's a good problem to have. Uh -huh. Whoever is remaining, you know, we're going to get their contact information. We're going to let them know, hey, look, we didn't forget about you. Come back next week. We'll text you when we're ready to serve you, Mashallah. Yeah, Sakhalam for your help, my dear brother. Brother Rauf, a few words. We don't care uh, in a care life. Hey, Islamic move. Uh, I know care is really care. <laughs> so that's why we, we wanted to appreciate all the care members, the people who support care. We're working together as the South Florida Muslim Federation. Care is part of it. Islamic Relief is part of it. Friends of Humanity is part of it. IFSF is part of it. We are all together. The purpose we're coming together because we, as uh, one organization, cannot do it alone. We partner together, we come together as the one Ummah so we can serve our neighbors and fellow Americans and make make us as a, a strong as a Muslim identity and represent the positive face of Islam. May Allah reward you, Brother Abdul Rauf. Thank you so much. So, brothers, this is the spot, like I told you, brothers and sisters, where people are being given the food boxes and masks. And I'm going to tell you, this is a line going around the masjid. This is a beautiful Islamic center of South Florida or Pompano Masjid. As you can see. So what they have is cars going in around the center, as you can see, and then being served right here.
Lula. It's gonna take you out of the masters. This is a very busy morning. I am just glad that our community, our South Florida Muslim community, as other communities, as I know, in Tampa, they're doing great food distribution from our Islamic centers in Tampa, in Orlando, here in South Florida. This way, please, this way. This is what's going on. We're doing this as a window, you know? We have been, you that have been at home are probably wondering what's going on in my mosque. I've not been able to pray there, but Alhamdulillah, your mosques are active, even if you are not praying in them. So keep in mind to support your masajid. It is precisely now when they most need your help. There's a school that neighbors the pump and the masjid. Alhamdulillah. Guys, keep helping our relief organizations. They are, they are our hands. They are our voice. They are our face in the street now. Igna relief. Islamic relief. Allah, give them a hand. Don't forget about them. Don't forget about your message. They're working. They're living Islam, subhanAllah. This is what it's about. This morning I was reading the Jewish journal. Synagogues are doing the same. On the way here, I drove by. Our Christian cousins, they were doing the same. They're feeding the neighbor. This is the very basics of religion. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we cannot be content with ourselves. Neighbor is in need. See, taught us to take care of our neighbors. That's part, essential part of our faith. You see, and this is where the line starts. I'm really gonna walk you back, inshallah. So there was, a, there was an event scheduled for 11 o'clock. They were kind of uh, moved to start it 45 minutes earlier because of people in need. I don't know if you have noticed that in this pandemic situation, look at the cars. Everybody's in need. People have come walking to get help. People are coming in old cars. Brand new cars. It's everybody. Doesn't spare anybody. That's why we have something that affects everybody. Then we're called to help everybody. SubhanAllah. It's a unique situation. Experience. And the reason I'm doing this life 
is to try to move our audience to activate themselves. You can do something. You can do something from home. You can do this. How can you do this from home? Help our relief organizations. Igna Relief, Islamic Relief, Friends of Humanity. They're doing their, they're doing their thing now. You know? They're our face, they're our hand, they're our voice. They're the voice of Muslims in America now. So you can do something. Alhamdulillah, this was an effort coordinated by the South Florida Muslim Federation. This is an umbrella organization that embraces over 30 Islamic centers, schools, and Muslim organizations of South Florida. And that CARE is a proud member of. And they have here also CARE Florida seats on the executive committee of the South Florida Muslim Federation, together with other leaders and representatives of Islamic centers and organizations. So, I'm gonna try to end up this video where I started in the area, in the distribution spot, All right? And this was the event. Look at the fly of the event. See? See? I saw media people. This is Marcelo from Hispan TV. Say hi to the camera. Hi. We're in the current life. Marcelo is a friend of Care Floyd, alhamdulillah. Stay around, stick around, Marcelo. You want me? I, I can talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah. Oh, Marcelo, you're that. Let's go to a safer spot if you if you don't mind. Yeah, Marcelo is a an international journalist, very reputable journalist. Let's go to that spot, Marcelo. For Hispan TV, Press TV, and has been for other international media outlets. Marcelo also have covered as at extent care. Uh, events and care issues. Thank you, Marcelo. Could you tell the camera and your experience from a journalist? What have you been able to see in the streets of Florida? Forget about what the politicians are telling telling us. Forget about what the commercial media is trying to sell us. What are your eyes seeing and what are your ears listening uh, here in Florida? Well, when Frodo and my friends were watching, it's, it's, it's just a horrible situation right now. Communities communities, especially those with low income or that uh, are isolated from society in certain ways, like immigrants or people that do not have immigrant status are suffering in Homestead, watching people literally dying in their homes because they don't even have documents to go to get treated. Oh, or if they go get treated, they get rejected because the hospital is all full. CHI, places like that. People are just sick on their cars, just waiting to die, I guess. You'll see young people, healthy like you and me, 30, 40s, athletic, and yet they're getting sick. People don't seem to be listening to some of the guidelines of medical authority. We don't talk about politics. In this time, we should talk about what's safe for us and for our families. But I really want to stress the work of Igna Relief and Muslim organizations here in South Florida. It's not the first day that I've been with them in a food drive or sharing their love with the community, helping community. It's one of the pillars of Islam. I've known this because I have very good Muslim friends and I work with these organizations and I'm a witness that when some organizations claim to be helping the citizens and the community in times of peace and, and rest, well, where are those other organizations? We only see some organizations like Gigna Relief and Muslims for Humanity 
stepping up in times of real difficulty. I've seen this in Puerto Rico and I've seen this in another parts of the US. When things go wrong, things go real, real bad, well, who's gonna be there for you? You gotta wonder that, you know, a lot of people in America don't understand that concept that Your insight is so so insightful. We we that that makes us think that uh, we we should be with our ears on the ground, uh, listening to what uh, We don't want to hear like uh, stories that are just not accurate, you know, or, uh, or people playing politics. This, this is uh, these are times for people to know the truth. These are times for people to be informed. And like Marcelo said, these are times also where Look who's hitting the street, helping the neighbor. Take a look. Those organizations you're supporting are the ones here. Igna Relief, Islamic Relief, Friends of Humanity, the Islamic Center of South Florida, Islamic Centers in Tampa and Orlando that are doing similar job throughout the whole nation. So those are the ones that we need to support. A lot of relief organizations that are a lot bigger than ours and get by the dozens and hundreds of millions. I don't know. I want to see them in the street as well. I want to see them giving like this, getting out of their comfy offices and giving because they're taking a lot of money for our com from our workers and our communities. Last mercy with our Muslim brothers and sisters living Islam like they're doing now. And we pray that Allah's peace 